We see this as an absolute win. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for another Top 10 Avengers Endgame Moments. Time travel! What? For this list, we're taking a look at even more moments that made this record-breaking blockbuster well worth our three-hour investment. If you're the one person who hasn't seen the movie or our last video, keep in mind that spoilers are, well, you know. Inevitable. Yeah, I know. I know. Number 10, Thanos versus Wanda. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. You will. Some would argue that Wanda Maximoff has been underutilized throughout the Infinity Saga. Why was she up there all this time? But the character was given what might be her most badass moment yet in Endgame. Although five years have passed since the snap, it's been more like a few minutes for the resurrected Scarlet Witch. One of her most recent memories is watching Thanos tear the Mind Stone out of Vision's head. Being from another timeline, this version of Thanos doesn't know who Wanda is. With her eyes blazing red, the vengeful Wanda introduces herself by levitating two large chunks of rubble and hurling them at Thanos. She proceeds to shatter his sword and show chinks in his armor. While Thanos ultimately breaks free, he definitely knows who Wanda is now. Rain fire! But sire, our troops just do it! Number 9. Hulk meets the Ancient One. Let's start over, shall we? Endgame features several awesome cameos. And Tilda Swinton's return as the Ancient One was certainly among the most pleasant surprises. Although she didn't make herself known to the Avengers, the Sorcerer Supreme helped from afar during the 2012 Battle of New York. When a 2023 Hulk shows up at her door seeking the Time Stone, she's reluctant to comply. Ah! I'm afraid not. While the Hulk now has Brain and Brawn on his side, he underestimates the Ancient One, who pushes Bruce Banner into his astral form. Once Bruce reveals that Doctor Strange surrendered the stone to Thanos in his timeline, however, the Ancient One starts to see matters differently. What did he say? Strange, he gave it away. He gave it to Thanos. Willingly? Yes. There are some things not even the Ancient One can predict, requiring her to take a leap of faith. I'm counting on you, Bruce. We all are. Number 8. Professor Hulk Selfie. Can you see Mr. Hulk? Yes. Can we, can we get a photo? 100% little person. Come on, step on up. You mind? Okay, thanks. You wouldn't like the Hulk when he's angry, but he can actually be a pretty chill guy on a good day. After 18 months of experimenting, Bruce found a way to combine his own intelligence with the Hulk's strength. And now look at me. Best of both worlds. Seeing a CGI Hulk with Mark Ruffalo's face and voice is rather jarring at first, not to mention hilarious. I'm so confused. These are confusing times. <laughs> right, no, no, this, that's not what I, I meant. I'm... No, I, I get it, I, I'm, I'm kidding. Yet it doesn't take long for us to warm up to the character's new look. Just as Bruce has come to embrace the Hulk, he's also accumulated a loyal fan base. The Hulkster is more than happy to pose for a photo with children, although Ant-Man can't generate the same levels of enthusiasm. Do you want to grab one with me? I'm Ant-Man. They're Hulk fans. Wait, they don't know no, Ant-Man. No, oh, Nobody does. We love that even on the brink of discovering time travel, selfies take precedence. Damn. Bruce. Listen to your mom. She knows better. About what you were saying. Right. Number seven, Chubby Thor. Buddy. You all right? Yes, yeah, I'm fine, why? Does it don't look all right? You look like melted ice cream. <laughs> if Bruce's makeover caught you off guard, then Thor's transformation must have hit you like lightning. Thor is arguably one of the more chiseled Avengers, and actor Chris Hemsworth is easily one of the hunkiest actors in the business. So, it's impossible to hold back our laughter when we first see the God of Thunder with an unkempt beard and beer belly, calling the big Lebowski to mind. Inside there, Lebowski. The ruler of Asgard now spends his days playing Fortnite with Korg. Forget about Hela, Noob Master 69 is the greatest evil on Thor's radar now. Noob Master. Yeah, Noob Master 69. Couldn't you this? Noob Master, hey, it's Thor again. You know the God of Thunder? As silly as Thor looks, Nobody's laughing when Thanos is mentioned and painful memories resurface. Don't you say that name. Oh, yeah. We don't actually say that name in here. 
The fact that Hemsworth can seamlessly transition between comedy and drama in an instant is a testament to his acting range. I'm fine, okay? We're fine, aren't we? Uh, all good here, mate. So, whatever it is that you're offering, we're not into it. Don't care, couldn't care less. Goodbye. Number six, Hail Hydra. Captain, I thought you were coordinating search and rescue. Change of plans. In the modern landscape of comics, few moments have proven more controversial than when Steve Rogers said Hail Hydra. While it turned out there was more to the story, the initial backlash is felt even years later. Endgame puts an ingenious spin on this infamous moment. It also serves as a clever callback to Captain America the Winter Soldier when Steve single-handedly took down a squad of double agents in an elevator. It kind of feels personal. Traveling back to 2012, Rogers finds himself in another elevator with the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents who are secretly working for HYDRA. Steve uses this knowledge to his advantage, convincing them to hand over the Mind Stone with two words. Hail Hydra. Even if you don't catch the references, this applause-worthy scene more than stands on its own. Number 5. Thor's Still Worthy I'm totally from the future. <laughs> Most MCU fans would agree that Thor The Dark World had its drawbacks, but we have a whole new appreciation for the film thanks to Endgame. Traveling back to 2013 Asgard for the Reality Stone, Thor is able to finally give his late mother a proper goodbye. Frigga isn't the only important figure from Thor's past that he never expected to see again. After giving his mom one last hug, a light bulb goes off over the God of Thunder's head. Come on, we gotta go. Three, two, no <laughs> Although he's been feeling lost these past five years, Thor finds that he's still worthy upon retrieving Mjolnir. He'll have to return his hammer eventually in order to preserve the timeline, but seeing Thor reunite with Mjolnir just for a little bit is a gift. Number 4. Tony Stark's Funeral mm, Part of the journey is the end. In 2008, Pepper, Happy, and Rhodey were among the only people Tony Stark could call loved ones. Fast forward a decade and a half, and Tony not only has a family, but an entire universe of people he's touched. This is reflected at his funeral as the camera pans across an array of friends and allies, from the Avengers to Peter and Aunt May to Doctor Strange to the Guardians. An older Harley Keener from Iron Man 3 is even present. We're connected. Leaving no stone unturned. By the time we reach Carol Danvers and Nick Fury in the back, we have no tears left to cry. I do not want another single pop culture reference out of you for the rest of the trip. The scene is only made more powerful through Alan Silvestri's musical score, which is triumphant and tear-jerking all at once. Number 3. I Love You 3000 That face goes there. Tony story. The story. Although Tony and Pepper discussed having a child named Morgan in Infinity War, we were still generally shocked to see a young Stark running around five years later. Morgan H. Stark, you want some lunch? Define lunch or be disintegrated. Okay. When Tony solves the time travel formula, he's torn between his responsibility to his family and his responsibility to the world. As charming as Tony's scenes with Morgan are, they also carry an enormous amount of gravitas. We see everything Tony risks losing as he puts his daughter to bed, and she expresses how much she loves him. Love you tons. I love you 3,000. While Tony manages to undo the snap without affecting the past five years, he makes the ultimate sacrifice in the process. Knowing his death may be coming, Tony leaves a message behind that turns the waterworks up to 3,000. Everything's gonna work out exactly the way it's supposed to. I love you 3,000. Number two, Tony reunites with Peter. That's not a hug, I'm just grabbing the door for you. We're not, we're not there yet. Tony could be hard on Peter, but he came to view him as more than just a protege. When Peter meets his demise at Thanos' hands, Tony can't help but feel that his death is on him. This is perhaps Tony's primary reason for putting everything on the line to reverse the snap, an investment that pays off when Spider-Man and numerous others emerge from the portals. Although all hell is breaking loose around them, Peter greets Tony in classic Peter fashion, as if no time has passed. And I must have passed out because I woke up and you were gone, but Doctor Strange was there, right? And he was like, it's been five years, come on, they need us. And then he started doing the yellow sparkly thing that he does all the time. Tony, meanwhile, can't contain himself and hugs his surrogate son. And this time, he wasn't just grabbing the door. 
It's unfortunately one of their last moments together, but Tony can die content knowing that Spider-Man is back. We won. Mr. Stark. We won, Mr. Stark. All right, a lot of you guys were wondering why our original top 10 Endgame moments list wasn't three hours long because the entire movie was just that good. First of all, that's horrible. Well, we heard you, so here's the next best thing. Any idea what our latest, greatest Endgame moment will be? Well, wait until after these honorable mentions to see. As Guardians of the Galaxy back together again. Oh, we're too fast. Hey. Just so you know, this is my ship still. I'm in charge. I know. I know. Of course you are. Don't touch me! You missed the first time. Then you got them both the second time. quite at the end yet. Almost there though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number one, three on one. You know, it's a trap, right? Yeah, I don't much care. Good. Just as long as we're all in agreement. Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America defined the MCU's first three phases. It's only fitting that this trio would kick off the final battle against the Mad Titan. Let's kill him properly this time. Having just blown up the Avengers compound, Thanos is confident that he's already won, patiently waiting for the enemy to strike back. Raising the stakes, Thanos vows to erase the entire universe instead of just half, shaping a new one in his image. And as long as there are those that remember what was, there will always be those that are unable to accept what can be. Thus ensues an exhilarating three-on-one fight that makes impeccable use of everyone's powers and weapons. Speaking of which, Thor isn't the only one who's worthy. No, no, give me that. You have the little one. <laughs> Thor and Tony are down for the count within minutes, while Cap is left barely standing. Luckily, this is just a warm-up, as Cap gets some reinforcements. Avengers! Assemble. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.